fitness trackers not only count our steps and calories burned, many provide sleep stats. But can you trust that data? We asked an expert at the Stanford Center for Sleep Sciences. The reason why these devices are good is because it puts greater emphasis on sleep. Most adults in the U.S. are actually somewhat sleep deprived. But are they accurate? The devices offer relatively little data as compared to the gold standard for measuring sleep, polysomnography. Polysomnography is a collection of different physiologic measures that we use to define and characterize sleep. We start with EEG, which are little electrical wires that measure your brain waves. It also includes measures like a snore mic, belts around your chest and your abdomen that will also record your breathing. Fitness trackers, on the other hand, use accelerometers. They're measuring an, an indirect approximation of sleep through movement. In order to make these estimations of deep or light sleep, they are probably using an algorithm that takes into account the relative amount of movement that a person is having over the course of the night. Fitness trackers motivate us to get our steps in, but they could help us get our Z's in too. In Redwood City, California, I'm Sumi Das, CNET.com for CBS News.